Meanwhile, the NTSB is investigating a deadly small plane crash in Delaware. Everyone on board died. Eyewitness News reporter Dan Koob has the story from Newark. Immediately after this twin engine airplane left Newcastle Airport, the pilot radioed air traffic control with an urgent need to return. That's according to the DRBA. A short time later, the plane crashed, killing the pilot and one passenger on board. A motorist reported seeing what appeared to be a plane crash into a wooded area west of I-95 in the area of Churchman's Road. The 1965 Beach Baron 55 crashed in a heavily wooded area roughly two miles north of the airport shortly after 8.50 Sunday morning. It's registered to a Philadelphia resident. Contacted the tower. They advised they had one aircraft took off from runway 32, requesting to land, then lost contact with the tower. They're still trying to locate. Delaware State Police, NTSB, and the FAA worked the scene for several hours Sunday. On scene, we found all four corners of the airplane, so we have the nose, the tail, and both uh, wings and engines, so uh, we're confident that everything's at the scene. The plane is too small to carry a black box, so NTSB is asking anyone who may have seen the plane overhead to contact them. Delaware State Police say there was a minor fuel leak after this crash, but it has been contained. In Delaware, Dan Koob, CBS3 Eyewitness News.